Hi guys, my name is Prag Paul and welcome back in the new lecture of the ETAP. In this particular lecture, I am going to define you the design process which takes place during the whole building design. So you know, after two lectures or after in the maybe in the next lecture, from next lecture onward, we will start the design of the particular a symmetrical building okay using the all factors and all the terminology step by step okay so which will help you to understand what is a proper design process okay so now in this particular lecture I am going to define you the what is a process takes place during the design first of all in last lecture we we what we did that we conclude the our analysis till the wind loading and earthquake loading so after that when you open that same model you can see the model is locked okay first you need to unlock the model and click on ok if the model is locked you cannot work on that model you need to unlock the model always now we can see our properties what we consider as a material we consider as m30 grade of concrete okay in frame section we consider beam and the column right and in slab section we consider the slab one right along with that we created this three dimensional model right after that we consider different different load loads like the load pattern we consider dead load wind load wind direction in x and y direction and earthquake in x and y direction then we also consider some load cases also dead lay, dead load live load okay and after that we also created the load combinations right now along with this what we have to do we analyze our model properly so first after analyzation again check your model is having any sort of problem any sort of you know uh, check all these things like whether your model is okay with the joints your model is okay with the frame your model is okay with the shale it means slab other check related to the meshing loading duplication and any fix okay so click on okay so you can if you click on okay definitely there is a no uh, the model is check and no warning message was generated if there any warning message generated you need to solve that one okay so after that go to the design and you after go to the design just click on the concrete frame design and select in view and revise preferences so when you click on this particular uh, pattern the one pop-up will generate look here you need to assign all these things okay these are the default value okay blue color represent the default value black color is not a default value which you will consider and the red value that has changed during the current session okay so these are the three colors you need to use for your overall for this particular pop-up you can see whatever design pattern you want to use like i am in india now i want to use the is code 456 2000 that's why i consider is code 456 2000 along with that i want to perform the response case design okay so response desk is a design okay here you can see it need to be considered as a step by step all why because as per our is code it will do the all calculation of the time history all the earthquake calculation it will do the all the calculation for our building after that the interaction curves it is nothing but the number of two dimensional interaction curves used to make up the three dimensional interactive surfaces right so this is a particular vat value which is already default as per the is code okay so interactive points okay these are the interactive points also which is comes from the model then minimum eccentricity do you want to consider the minimum eccentricity what is the eccentricity eccentricity means the load which is coming from the upward direction and travel through the column okay but not from the center from certain distance away from the center that particular distance is called as a eccentricity okay so if you want to check for that you need to always consider it as s because yes there is a maximum cases where the eccentricity make generate okay and this is very important for the column design after that you want to consider the additional moment yes we are considering additional moment and you consider p delta yeah these are the p delta factor if you want to want to run the earthquake loading earthquake design then you should consider as a s or you can consider as a no okay still we are considering as a no and all the value okay are considered as a default 
so click on ok but this value will change and we will definitely change all the value during our proper design of building projects which we going to take two projects in overall subjects or all this uh, series which will help you to learn how we can design the overall building with all foundation and each and everything now after that go to the concrete frame design and again select the rebar selection and rule for column so you need to select the smallest bar size i am going to select my smallest bar size is 12 uh, so like 14 and the longest is i am considering as a 28 for what the si longitudinal bars okay for the non seismic requirement and for seismic requirement i am considering it as a 32 okay now here one of the important thing you need to consider that if you want to make your section more economical you should consider your reinforcement bar as at very low dimension okay so now this is for the sake of prison i'm considering the you know certain values but in coming lectures we will definitely see the particular uh, you know standardized value now you can see the minimum maximum spacing given as a 450 which is the default value but my my dear all friends as per our indian standard the maximum spacing is given as a 300 mm which is the called value as a sv so this value should be replaced as a 300 right and the this ties that whatever the lateral ties we have that is particular uh, you know the largest size it not never be more than 10 okay and the minimum just consider as a 8 mm okay and click on okay now you can see if i design this with respect to this particular value definitely it will consider the maximum reinforcement am i right if it consider the maximum reinforcement so definitely your design cost will incur very high you should consider the value of the reinforcement as low as possible so your cost of the building will reduce okay so that is an important parameter which you need to consider during design then again go to the design concrete frame design and rebar selection for the beam here also you need to do the same things okay the top and bottom rebar i'm not going to do the any changes right now okay but remember one thing this spacing should be changed to the 300 okay here the largest the stirrups is largest i'm going to provide 10 and this is 8 and yes the largest bar size 20 preferred bar size 12 minimum number of bar 2 yes right and the here for a requirement okay this need to be changed okay this all these things i am going to discuss in a during project okay these are the things which help you to make your section more economical that's it click on okay then go to design concrete frame design select the design groups when you go to this design group you need to select the all and click on okay after that design design frame select design combination each and every design combination i already selected okay then design it's already selected then after that you need to click on display uh, you need to uh, here after that you need to do few things but you can see before the designing you need to analyze your model so first let's analyze the model after that only you can uh, uh, do the design okay so whatever i taught you for a design that is very important you can see your model is uh, analyzed now okay now go to the design concrete design and go to the start design slash check this command only open after an analysis not before analysis okay because this particular command required the shear force and bending movement right so click on this and you can see this particular yellow ball will reflect in our 3d model and it's check your each and every parameter single single parameter of your model okay now after that go to the design concrete frame design and you can see display design info if you click on that so it will ask you but before that let's check where whether your all member are passed or not this is very important parameter you need to check whether in in this design all the parameters are passed or not so i am going to click on this and the pop-up will generate as all concrete frame passed the design check it means your building is safe first of all now after that go to the design concrete frame and click on here the display design info and we will see the uh, each and everything you can see so any we will check the any identify the all failures this is one of the important parameter let's see how many failure we have 
there is nothing any if no any failure uh, uh, column or be more here okay don't check the log need to reinforcement click on apply you can see this is a area you can see this is a particular area which is represent the log need to and transfer reinforcement right then rebar percentage you can see the rebar percentage okay after that the share enforcement also the share enforcement area also displayed then we will see the column the column beam capacity ratio okay so it is not available which is not defined actually general enforcement details so yes these are the general enforcement detail few are in minus but this particular kind of the scenario okay it's not okay this particular details never use for your design because you know when whenever you are going to check the design output this design output only in a particular value right so what you have to do for that particular application you need to install there is few detailing uh, detailing uh, tool is available for the you know for, for the this particular design analysis which we will discuss in during design purpose design uh, of the building from the next uh, lecture and during that you will definitely enjoy all the design of building five for for uh, all this concern i would like to tell you one thing that please revise all the lectures from the start to end okay so you will enjoy the video very uh, properly so as on date i taught you each and every small small tools related to the analysis and design of the building so now in coming lectures we will definitely start with our project okay and the project is g plus three story building in which you can see the total reinforcement in three dimensional and the two dimensional the slab detailing putting each and everything detailing bar bending schedule from the next lecture okay so have a nice day bye bye